All right, we're back to go ahead and install this hard drive into uh, the machine. We have our tray and the hard drive itself and our four screws to insert the hard drive. Now this is a two and a half inch hard drive, so it's going to fit in a little bit different than your typical three and a half inch drive. We follow the same process, basically. We want to make sure that these uh, connections are sticking out so we can put the cables onto them. Line up the screw holes here for a two and a half. A three and a half inch drive will be putting them on the sides rather than screwing that into the bottom. So lining it up so it sticks out just a little bit, just finding our screw holes here. See our connection here, we don't want it to hit the sides, we're going to put it towards the middle rather than the side. Our Phillips head screwdriver. Let's go ahead and screw this hard drive into the tray. Go ahead and line up the additional screw holes. Now the majority of hard drives will follow the exact same pattern. They'll have uh, three and a half inch will have screws holes on the side. You may have some rubber grommets for the three and a half inch drives as they do spin normally. They're not set up to be a solid state drive like this one. They'll spin and create a vibration and you want to use the rubber grommet to decrease the vibration and sound that the hard drive makes. Those will happen to go into the sides. Uh, a lot of cases will have a particular way of installing them. This one has a slide open and slide shut easy. Some will have a slide out metal tray with uh, the four screws on the sides that we need to put in just like the way we're doing it here. So our hard drive is installed in the tray. And the next is, thing we're going to do is go ahead and put it into the computer itself. We're going to put it in the top drive bay. You can see that we have it undone. We're just going to go ahead and slide it in with the connections facing towards the back side of the machine. We need our power cable going out towards the hard drive, which we put in in an earlier video. And the next thing that we'll need is our SATA cable. As this is a SATA hard drive, we'll need to go ahead and put one of these into the motherboard and from the motherboard into the hard drive itself. We have two different types. We have the straight angle or the 90 degree angle. The 90 degree angle could be great for the tight cases on the back side where you don't have a lot of room uh, for the hard drive to be attached and you may have to use a 90 degree angle uh, to face down. Depending upon the case it can be also great for a motherboard that's in a tight spot as well. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and you can see that we have our SATA cable connector to so these red things here. Now the SATA cable itself has a key on it. You'll see that it's almost in an L shape. You need to make sure you put that in the correct way. And depending upon what device you're installing, you'll need to put it in the correct SATA ports. Uh, there are a total of 10 SATA ports on this particular hard drive, or this motherboard. And just for a demonstration, we're going to put it in the middle one to make it a little bit easier to see. We'll go ahead and push it in, and it'll click in. This little metal pin here will lock it. If you need to remove the cable, you press down on the pin, and then pull it out. We're then going to feed the cable through the grommet and then towards the back of the hard drive itself. Now if you're unsure which SATA connection to use on the motherboard, just refer to your user manual and that'll tell you exactly what you need to know. So this is the back side of the case. We can see that we have our hard drive here. We have our cables coming through the grommet right here. Here is our SATA data cable from the motherboard. We're going to go ahead and attach that to the small side. We also have our power cable we've run through here as well. So we'll take our data connection and go ahead and insert it into the back of the drive following the exact same L shape. See so if you had a 90 degree cable, it would sit down. If you can use the straight cable, that's always an option for you. This case is large enough where I have that ability. The next thing we're going to do is attach the power cable to the hard drive as well. It also follows an L shape. We just need to push it into the back, and that is a connection for data. Now, if you have any questions about hard drive installation, go ahead and throw them in the comments. 
do everything I can to answer. If you want to watch the remaining portion of this build, the videos will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching.